What's up guys, it's Don and today we'll be taking a look at Dark Messenger. This tweak is a great addition if you're using Facebook Dark Mode from my previous review video. Now before I show you this tweak in action, let's take a look at some of the settings to see what this tweak provides. Now if you use Facebook Dark Mode, you can see the similarities these tweaks have. Anyways, the first option we have is the Enable Toggle, so let's enable that. The next option we have is a toggle to enable with Noctis. This is basically for those who use the Noctis toggle to turn on and off the dark mode. This tweak will also turn on and off if it is enabled. Enable dark keyboard does what it says. It will give you a dark keyboard to match with the dark mode theme. Of course, that's if you don't have another keyboard customizer tweak already installed. Sticker background color basically adds a small square color behind the stickers. I personally think this looks ugly, but each to their own, but you have that option right there. Preserve chat color bubble is our next option and it gives us a natural color for our chat bubbles. If you have this disabled, you will get a ugly pale color, which personally I dislike, and that's why I have it enabled. Light color for unread messages basically makes your text gray if enabled and white if it's a unread message when you're in your messages tab. If it's disabled then all the text is white and it's kind of hard to tell which message is unread. The second is being an enable toggle to use custom colors and the last one is a tab allowing us to pick those custom colors for the areas of the app. This is great if you necessarily are going for a dark mode theme but trying to match another one. So if we go into the custom color options, we have these areas we could change. I have these crazy colors selected for demo purposes so you can see what is what in the app. The primary color is basically the app color, mostly what you'll be seeing. The secondary color is the break off elements from the primary color, so basically little small details in the app which you will see in a bit. The bar color is obviously the top and bottom bar and your text and icon color are pretty self explanatory. Then we have the incoming bubble color which is the person messaging you and the outgoing bubble is basically you messaging that person back. So let's go ahead and go into our messenger app so you can get a better idea of how things look. So now that we're in our conversation here, you can see that our top bar is black just like I had it set. Our bubble colors are correct, so Megas is incoming which is black and mine is purple which is outgoing. Our primary color is the dark red as you can see in the whole entire app of course. And our secondary color is small break off elements, so basically right here we can add a reaction. And down here in our little circle icon where we could type is also a brighter red. And of course our text is white of course that's how I want it but uh, yeah that's pretty much how it looks like. A quick tip I like to give out is to use the midnight preset to get right into the dark mode theme if that is your goal with this tweak. Some additional information I like to add is that this tweak is supported on all i devices. And that is it for Dark Messenger. You can find it for 99 cents on the Pagex repo and I highly recommend it to you guys. It brings a true dark mode to the Facebook Messenger app and if that's not your goal you also have the option to select your own custom colors. So like the video if you like it. If you don't you already know what to do and if you'd like to see more of my jailbreak tweak videos hit that subscribe button and also make sure to follow Foxfort Mobile on Twitter and check out the rest of his other tweaks. Until then I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.